Had someone asked me the other day, is there an easy way to animate text and titles that you can drop into videos? <laughs> there is! So I thought, hey, let me do a video for you guys and show you how easy it is to create some just simple text and title animations that you can use in videos, live streaming, or wherever. Now, I tend to use Motion VFX for most of my graphics and title animations and things like that. And, and I've done a bunch of videos on those and I'll link those down below. But let's just say you want something simple and, you know, quasi-free too. Well, I'm going to show you in this video how to make simple text animations in Canva. By the way, just between you and me, all the full screen text animations in this video, I did in Canva. Okay, so here we are in Canva, my secret weapon. So, step one, I would start with a presentation design. So you go to create design and you can just type in presentation and it's like search. Choose the first one that pops up and if it doesn't, you want 1920 by 1080. The reason is, this will be the size of your video. So this is like 16 by nine video. So already your animation, your graphic will be the exact size you need it. I would typically start with a blank screen, but if not, they have all these other ones you can use over here. Now, if you say, well, wait a minute, this is a presentation. You're right, but you can adapt it too. But for this one, we're gonna start blank. Okay, the next step is you wanna add some text. So let's do that. Let's come to text and we're just gonna add something right here. And I, I'm just gonna make it up. We'll say, uh, we'll say step one. Now I'm gonna separate this into two different ones and I'll show you why just step one. Um, create a design. Again, it, you know, whatever your video is about uh, or your live stream, step one. Now let's say, you know, I made that one bigger. Let's say you wanna make that one smaller. You wanna make that one bigger. You want it to be on two lines. You can do different things, right? Just for sake of argument, I'm just gonna uh, keep it that way. Not maybe not argument, but now, you could do it like this. I think it's kind of plain. We're gonna center everything up. You get these lines that kind of help you. Uh, center, but let's say we want to change the color of the background. So whatever you click on, that's that's what you can control. So you go up here, and we're going to change the background color to let's say that. Now again, black on on a blue background is hard to to read. So go up here, and uh, just for this, I'm just going to change these to white. You can change these to any color. And you can even change the font too. In fact, I'll show you that right now. So let's say you wanted to change it to, and these are all, a lot of the fonts there, and you wanted to have different fonts. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking on it and we'll pick one there. So now some of the fonts that you choose will make it bigger or smaller, and some are only capitalized and some have upper and lower case. So you can decide that. That's just, but that's something you can do. Now, if you like it right here, you can go to the next step, but let's say you wanna have it, give it a little depth. Come to effects. I use lift all the time. You notice right there? Look at the difference. Bang. And all of a sudden it just looks different. Now, you could let it go like this right now, or let's say you wanted to add an element. An element I use a lot is, is uh, kind of a rectangle. And you notice how I'm doing, I'm just moving it down like right here, and I'm gonna put it right over that. Now, I'm only gonna do this one right here, and we'll just keep it red for now. So right now, we've changed now the font, we've added some color and an element. Okay, here's a bonus tip that's gonna save you a ton of time. If you like your design at this point, go up here and make a copy. And what that will do is it'll make a copy of everything you've just done, it opens up another tab, and now you notice it says right here, copy of, add a heading, because I didn't name it. And that way you're not having to recreate everything over and over. All right, so now we're ready to animate it. And this is really the cool part. You notice right here it says animate. So when we click on animate, it opens up this window. Now again, if it has a crown by it, a crown means it's part of the pro plan. So if you're not on pro, you can't use that. But notice what happens. So each animation is a little different. So you can pick the one you like. Now, I use these a lot. I think these are kind of cool. But for now, we'll just leave, leave pop. So I'm gonna choose pop. And what's really cool is you've just created an animation. 
Now, you can go up here and set the length, and what that does is it'll just determine the length of the clip when you export it. I usually just leave it at the default five seconds. Okay, now you're ready to download it. I mean, you've got it the way you like it. In fact, you can, you can animate it one more time. You wanna download it as a movie. It's very simple. Go up here to the arrow. Now, this is the important part. It's gonna to default to a PDF standard because keep in mind, we, we started with a presentation, uh, presentation design. So if you download this, it's just gonna be a static graphic. So you wanna go here and change it to MP4 video and you can save download settings. You have to do this every time. Click that, hit download, and depending on you know how much there is in there, it may take a second, but it's a pretty fast download, and it'll download to wherever you want it to on a hard drive. Bang, there it is, and we're gonna save it, and it's done. All right, now you've just done the cool animation in Canva. What are you gonna do with it? Well, for the next step, we're gonna jump into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, so now that you've got your really cool animation, you wanna bring it into your project and use it, right? I'm gonna show you how to do it in Final Cut Pro because that's what I use. You could do this in any program. You could also do it in a live stream program like Ecamm Live or StreamYard. And if you wanna see how to do that, let me know down in the comments and I'll do that video. But you literally just do import now it's on my desktop and it's right here. That's the animation we just created. I'm gonna bring it in and bang, it's in, it's right here. We're gonna drop it in right there and now watch. Bang, that's what we just created. Now, if you think it's too long, all you gotta do is make it short. So let's just say we wanna make it, let's say two seconds, right? Now watch. and you can put that anywhere in the video. And another bonus tip, add music and sound effects to really take your animated text and titles to a whole nother level. Now, you can do that in Canva, but you've gotta be careful about what you use and the plan you're on. I tend to use Soundstripe for mine and also Storyblock. Soundstripe, more music for me. It's kind of like the Spotify of production music. Storyblocks has amazing sound effects and they also have music too. Now both are paid subscriptions. There's a link to both in the, in, the, in, in the description. You can also use YouTube. YouTube has free music and sound effects options too, but consider doing that to take your visuals to a whole nother level. Now, if you're not using Canva, you wanna check it out. Hit my link in the description. There's a free plan and there's a paid plan. I'm on the paid plan. It's not that expensive. You just get a lot more. Hope you like this. Give it a like if you did and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm Kevin Colby. I'm so glad you're here and I'll see you in the next video.